You haven't went to sleep yet. Yeah. Oh, wrong move, Cameron. Oh my god. Pre fire. It's in my head, it's in my fucking head And I still can't believe all the stupid things I did, huh? It's in my head, it's in my fucking head Everything you did and you still let me on the bed, huh? It's in my head, it's in my fucking head Don't wanna let me take the pill So, first of all, first things first, you're gonna drag um, your clip into the timeline. Hit no, once you do that, um, you're going to drag your music as well, all the way into the bottom, and uh, just sync it up pretty much and add wherever you'd like the first the music to start. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I do that. Alright, so over here right now, I'm just trimming my clips. And I've trimmed it to begin right here, pretty much. Just gonna cut this part right out. And uh, let's see what it looks like. 89? Okay. So I'm gonna mark where the bass drops. And I'm gonna mute these two so I can figure that out. 89? So it looks like the bass drops right here. I'm gonna put a marker on it. Put M, use M for marker, and then sync it up to where you take the shot and get the victory royale pretty much, which is right there. So that's that, those clips are synced, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm gonna cut that clip at that part just because it's too long. And uh, once you've done that, save your stuff. And once you've saved it, now we're gonna click, right click it, insert, remove envelope, velocity, zoom in by scrolling up. You can double click to put a marker on it. Uh, that's not on point. Yeah, double click to put a marker one, two, three frames to the left. So let me start that again. One, two, three frames to the left. And go on. Two, three, four, five frames to the right. Set the middle to 200. And then the, I know for Victory Royale clips, uh, usually people leave this at 100 because it's already slowed up. But for this particular clip, it looks good and 50% anyway. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And uh, it should look like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna turn the cl main clip volume down a little bit. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so now I'm gonna save that. Up next, what we're gonna need to do is split them and insert a video track up top. Just gonna split these two. And insert a video track up top and now you're gonna press U click on this first clip hold hit U that deselects it and now you can freely move it so once you've hit U control C to copy go over to the top control V paste it and then just line them up perfectly and then once you line them up what you're gonna need to do right now is um, click on this right here hit track motion if you don't have the option that says track motion click on edit visible button set and then select what you need and press ok so once you do that click on track motion and now we're gonna make the wavy animation pretty much and uh, right here it goes to the start of this as I move this playhead it's oh my god as I move this playhead as you can see it moves here in real time as well so let's just sync them up to the start of this clip and ha add a keyframe right here turn this 
reduce the size of this by a little and then go to the end of this right here and add another keyframe right click and click on restore box restore view and once you've done that as you can see that just creates the effect where it's zooming in back to its original state now before we continue just move this down to a little bit click on video effects and type in blur gaussian blur and hit the extreme blur and we're going to need to put the extreme blur at the bottom clip right here and as you can see when we do that it blurs out the background so now once we do that next thing you want to do is find um click on border search up border hit border click on soft edge drag that to the first one as you can see it softens the edge of this clip right here close that out now we're ready for the animation zoom in to your very first keyframe right here and then we're just going to start rotating the um clip pretty much it's self-preference to how much you like it so it's not going to be very specific and to how because i don't know exactly what you would like so it's your choice on how you just customize it but here tilt this first clip i think this is too tilted so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna turn this a little bit more i guess i think that's better and go over here turn right yeah that's good go over here turn left a little here turn right here turn left that's too far okay that's good and right and left just keep doing this as much as it satisfies you and until the clip goes to the last frame and now see what it looks like yeah that's pretty much what that is guys i'm gonna move this a little bit to the left so it can be faster Okay, yeah, let's just move all of these to the left a little bit to make them play back much more faster And see what that looks like Okay, that's what that part looks like save your stuff and once you've saved that we um, now what, what we want to do now is Make this black and white so what we're gonna do is not either way most people could just use black and white the regular black and white but that doesn't make it look that good as good as, as it should be so what i like to do is search up color once you search up color go into color corrector secondary drag the default into this top clip and once you do that hit custom and before we keep moving on just drag your playhead to wherever it shows the character very well and over here it shows the character pretty well like yeah right here it shows the character pretty well or right here so yeah now i'm just gonna click on select effect range i'm gonna click on the whatever part of the character that you want to stand out the most in this case i'm gonna do the black sorry i don't know what happened right there Custom select effect right so yeah in this case I'm gonna do the uh, black dress or the back jacket or whatever so click on that and click on show mask and once you do that you're just gonna mess with the limit saturation and then the limit luminance drag the high all the way to the maximum and mess around with the lows and uh, yeah once you mess around with that just mess around with everything until it just shows until it just gives you what you prefer pretty much mess around with the smoothing and everything around i think this is pretty good really i think yeah, i think it's good this way it shows the character a bit and now once you do that hit invert mask or drag saturation saturation all the way to the lowest and hit uncheck show mask and then it should look just like that now i'm going to close this out and as you can see right now it's pretty much black and white but some parts are not so it's pretty cool. I'm going to make this full screen so you guys can see what it looks like. So yeah, this is pretty much what this looks like. As you can see, it's black and white, but not really. So it's just much more cool. Cooler that way. Now what you want to do in this part of the clip is click on this one. Hit U to unselect it. Now you can move it without dragging the rest of the audio. Control C, copy it. And now in this case, you don't want to sync it up yet. 
you just want to hit away from it by a little control V and then once you've pasted that you can just drag it here um, now the next thing to do is uh, um, actually drag this a little bit away and go over to transitions tab and once you do that search up gradient wipe click on gradient wipe and uh, paint splatter right here drag the paint splatter all the way to the left side don't drag it on the clip it's not gonna paint it's not gonna do anything so you can see I'm dragging and dropping it's not doing anything but if you aim for the left I'm gonna zoom in a little if you can aim for the left side of the clip boom right there it starts it places it so now for this plane spider effect you can drag everything to zero percent make sure they're both at zero and uh, now you can sync the clip up boom and now they're both synced up properly you can just like extend this or reduce it to however long you'd like it to and uh, now for the bottom clip, click on video effects and search up black, black and white right there. 100% black and white, track to the bottom clip. And now you can see that it, is, it looks stained a little bit, but that's the good part about it. So once I drag this playhead, just to preview to show what you guys look like, you can see the pin effect pretty much just does that. And it's pretty cool, it's a pretty cool effect. Now. Up next, I'm going to save that, hit the hit right click right here and add a video track up top. And once you do that, you want to go drag your shockwave effect. Drag your shockwave effect. I uh, can delete this tab. We don't really need, we don't need the audio of it. So delete. Yes. And once you do that, hold left control and drag to however long you'd like this to be. I'm going to drag it about right here is good. And you have to make sure it's synced up with the gradient wipe as well. And, uh, in order for the shockwave to show, click on custom. Sorry, I muted. Click on custom comp compositing mode and hit lighten. And once you do that, it's pretty much going to show up like that. And save that, and then we can preview what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe just turn this up a little bit. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's good. Now what you want to do is go in your video effects and add shake. So yeah, uh, once you search up shake, you can come over here to the S underscore dissolve shake section. And under that, it's going to show default for you. But what you can do is drag your default onto both of these clips. And once you do that, you're going to need to... Um, um, for me, here's the preset that I use. It's called the base shake Vicroy. And uh, I already have a preset for it, so you guys can copy this preset if you'd like. This is the X. Here's the Y. And I don't think you need these, actually. So yeah, just copy these, pretty much. You can pause the video and copy that. And so what you want to do is add a animate. And uh, your dissolve shake, you want to just drag it by a little bit. And then set the dissolve amount to zero. And uh, once you do that, close that clip. You just want to count how much keyframes you've done it by. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 keyframes. Close this out. Go over to the top clip and click on FX. And over here in the dissolve shake as well, you know, um, save my uh, preset. Base shake Vicroy, same preset as before. Add the animate feature and count up 13 uh, keyframes. One, two, sorry. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Add a keyframe and set this to zero. And here's what it should look like. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Now this part of the clip is quite messed up because there's like a Vegas bug for me. So what you want to do is search up glow s underscore glow color correction and uh, just drag it into this clip right here and as well as the up clip and then it should look the exact same and this is the preset for it just turn their brightness to 0 0.100 in case you want that that's the color correction preset so yeah much i hope i helped you guys a lot and uh yeah if you do enjoy the video just make sure you leave a like sub and everything i appreciate you guys so much and thanks for 800 subs this might be the last of this i do because i want to pretty much focus on highlights videos and potentially arena gameplay coming out very soon i don't really want to be a video how-to video editing channel but yeah 
that's pretty much it guys and if you'd like to support me check out my other content i really appreciate it. you guys love you all and you guys have a good one peace